Italy, Great Britain, the prize is a European title. Three of the world champions against three of the Olympic champions. And the world, our record holder against the man he dispossessed of that record on this very track. It's Italy who are up after the first lap, but there's only two hundredths in it. Right at Italy, the world record holders as well, 342.032. Numbers that were incomprehensible just a few years ago. I think they're still incomprehensible, Rob. <laughs> Unimaginable, perhaps, better to describe yeah. this. Italy up after three laps, one tenth in it. How are both teams looking to your expert eye, Joe? Both teams looking good. The, the key in a team pursuit final is to watch the coach. So you can see here he's just taken about two steps down. That means Great Britain are about two tenths slower than the schedule that they want to be riding at. So that's actually more key than it is watching the two different teams because some teams naturally start faster. But in a team pursuit, you always go out with a, with a plan of riding to a schedule. Normally you stick to that for the first half of the race and then you just let the, let the race unleash itself. But Currently, GB only slightly down on their schedule, despite being a full second down on Italy in the race. I'm trying to draw some positives here. Villa wants them to stay as they are, and he will do, because they are 1.195 seconds up. Make that 1.2, as we saw Jonathan Milan, rather like Simone Consoni, also winning on the road the other week in Saudi Arabia. Italy have riders on form in all kinds of this discipline. A second of difference, and Italy Approaching the halfway mark, remain that second up. And they add to that lead, 1.288 now, halfway through. All four riders for both teams still present. Yeah, interestingly, it's a huge gap to Italy, but GB only being walked a tenth down by their coach. So this looks like it's been a really fast start by Italy, but the big question is, can they hang on to it? They are putting more time into Great Britain again. It's 1.6 oh, seconds this now. Ghana. And Filippo Ghana is on the front. And rather like Katie Archibald was, he's almost too oh, good for them dear. all. It messes up the changes. Italy now down to three. Yeah, no, just too good for everyone to hold his will. He's now changed, gone to the back. We'll see him on the front again soon. Still a 1.3 second lead for Italy, though. Looked as though that might have been Consonni the first to drop off. Not surprising after what we saw with the points race there. One and a half seconds. One kilometre to go. Italy still well up, but with those three riders. Jonathan Milan at the front now. It's in the red and black helmet that Filippo Ganna waits and is ready to ride hard. 1.7 seconds. Italy continue to fly. Great Britain down to three in the meantime as well. We've hardly seen them on the camera for the last couple of laps. Bigger now hitting the front as we saw. 1.3 as Great Britain start to speed up. It's down to a second now. They are gaining all the time, but are they gaining quick enough? The bell is ringing, and look at that. They're roared on by their coach. Down to nine tenths now. Italy in the lead with 3.33 to this point, going into the final half a lap. They are building their lead again, and they're going to ride away to the European title. Italy have it easily against Great Britain. It's a 1.1 second margin. Italy, the European champions. Three forty seven six six seven.